Hello, my name is 12 Calibre, and uh, today I'm bringing you a uh, game of Wanted on Rome on uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Um, before we set off, I uh, just want to say that um, I am um, part of a community channel for mainly Call of Duty videos. It's called Cod Origin Gaming, I'll put a link in the description. And um, I'm going to be posting most of my Black Ops commentaries and gameplays on that channel now. And uh, if I put a video out on here and I've got one on there, I'll probably let you know. Your objective um, I'll remind you about that the again at the uh, end of the video. Avoid other right, but anyway, on to Brotherhood. So we're playing the uh, Wanted mode. This is uh, the one where that's been uh, in a lot of the trailers. It's um, It's a good, fun gameplay. No, gameplay, game mode, sorry. Um, lasts about 10 minutes. Um, <coughs> and uh, there you go, I get off to a good start by getting stabbed by a priest. Um, there are a variety of characters to choose from. I chose um, this guy, who I think is the Prowler. Um, you do get um, various perks and stuff, like I've chosen my loadout. I do believe I've got smoke bombs on. Because uh, it's the only thing. Well, it's not the only thing, but it's the. Uh, I only have one perk at the moment unlocked. Um, and in the upper right-hand corner, you can see uh, who my target is. It's a um, executioner, and uh, my compass on the middle tells you how close you are, um, whether they're above or below you, and uh, various things like that. Also, at this moment in time, on the uh, to upper left-hand side, the red triangle shows you how many uh, pursuers are on you. And as you can see just then, it dimmed from two to one, meaning that uh, one of my pursuers was killed by another target. And uh, also, the blue triangles underneath my target portrait, they show how many people, including me, are hunting my target. So uh, there you go, you see a uh, priest uh, jumping up there. I, uh, gonna, uh, I'm quite close to my target now. I do go quite well in this game. I don't get too many deaths and I do get a fair amount of kills. Which is good because you can see the variety of kills. Um, but it's also not so great because you don't get to see many escapes in this. I don't think you get to see any. Um, so yeah, the uh, compass is glowing blue now, which means they can see me as well as I can see them. And uh, I pick up the pace with the fast walk here as I've uh, seen my target. He's uh, around the corner here, somewhere. And uh, I think that's him, and it is. Take a lucky guess because he was hiding in a crowd with another executioner. <coughs> and. Uh, as you can see, you can get various uh, amounts of points for your various style of kills. Because you get uh, points for not only the amount of kills you get, but uh, how well the kill is. Like, if you are completely inc incognito when you get a kill, you'll get a bonus for that. If you get a kill from above, you know, you'll get a kill for that. Points for that, sorry. Yeah. So, uh, moving on, I'm uh, now hunting a priest. He's above me. Um, he's up there on that rooftop and uh, you can use uh, all the uh, free roaming free roaming, free climbing abilities from uh, the uh, main campaign are all included in here so now um, quite close to the um, target he's there um, I try to, um, it turns out that the other guy who's hunting him just like ran past my screen because there's two of us and then I go to drop down and then I go back to climb up and he still doesn't realise and uh, I managed to kill him, get my revenge for him killing me at the very start and as you can see there I got plus, plus 100 for the kill and plus 200 for being silent because uh, you'll notice as, you should be able to see it if you're watching in HD, um, my 720 um, uh, next to the portrait, there's a little blue bar which tells you how whether like how alert they are of you, and uh, those gates there, if you uh, run through them, come in very handy when you're being chased, as they uh, shut behind you and the uh, opposing person has to you know run away. There you go, I found my target, and uh, boom, reach level seven, yeah. Nice to know. I do believe I do use my smoke bombs later on. 
I think. And uh, I get assass air assassinated by a uh, noble there. It was a quite nice assassination. And uh, waiting to respawn now. The respawn times are really very short. Like, you just pick whichever pre class preset you want and you're pretty much ready to go. So, back to hunting this priest again. Wow. We uh, really want to hunt him a lot, don't we? Um, just admiring the surroundings, I think, here. Ah, there we go. Somebody somebody used a smoke bomb. And uh, this, this, I, I got very lucky here because there's two priests luck. And this guy happens to be the guy I'm looking for. And uh, that's a good way of blending with people because you can play as every uh... you can choose to be ev any character you see on the map and the best way is to for, is to not get killed is apart from hiding is to blend with your pursuers like you know with um... blend from your pursuers with um, the same character that you are so now we're moving on to we're trying to hunt a uh... a courtesan and uh... I get, um, well, that looks a bit wrong, and I uh, get killed by a um, executioner there. I am in third place, I do believe. I don't finish first, but I do get a lot of kills. But um, it just goes to show that you definitely need qu um, quality of kills over quantity. So here we are heading for the priest again. Yes, priest again. Um, what's really strange about this is um, you can uh, you like know who are the players and who aren't because you can see them all running across the building and there's my uh, target there I've locked onto him so that it tracks him and he jumped off there and I don't know if I get the kill or not I think I might do and uh, he used a skill there where he turned into the warrior and I got really confused because I didn't know whether it was the priest turning back into the warrior or whether it was a priest turning no the what the warrior turning the pre the warrior turning from the priest back into the warrior because his uh, perk had finished or whether it was the priest turning into the warrior and uh, now I'm hunting a harlequin I do believe who uh, proves to be quite um, a pesky uh, a pesky foe to get because uh, she's right there walking away from me now but I uh, want to get the extra points wait correction might not be in this game it might be in a previous game but there was a harlequin and she was really difficult to kill sitting on the bench here uh, yeah and he just runs up to me he that was that was very good kill because I didn't even notice him like I knew he was blending in that crowd there but I didn't even notice he was in the crowd at all so um yeah right um the the customization on this game oh god here we go again with this hard thing. anyway the customization is quite good cuz as well as classes for each um character like there's a priest, a doctor, the prowler, a barber, there's the guy who I'm hunting now who is the um the oh god what's he called? He's called the um a noble, that's it. And there's a couple of others like the Harlequin and the uh, the 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 courtesan, that's it, the courtesan. But um you can uh you can customize like all their colors and what they're wearing and stuff once you've unlocked it because I think there's 50 levels to the whole of this so um, yeah um, we're coming into the last minute now using nice lift the lifts the lifts are really good on this they come in so much handy um, like they're scattered about on the buildings and stuff but yeah um, ooh, there's my target the uh, noble but um, that's the one thing that can give you away or like help you to see your target in this because you might um, ooh, I did not see him at all um, you might air assassinate somebody and then or assassinate somebody at all and then the other person will see you and it know instantly it's you so 
that is uh, quite difficult. Um, I think I do get one more kill here. But anyway, the uh, 30 seconds remain. we are in the last 30 seconds now. And the game is closing out, so I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. You know, rate, comment, subscribe. I'm going to put a link in the description to COD Origin Gaming. I should have a uh, commentary of a team deathmatch on Havana um, out soon. And um, yeah, just thanks for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. So uh, take care and uh, goodbye. You have finished third.